Okay, Saints fans, down here in Frankston on the beach for Saints by the Bay. Got a good crowd of people down here. We're going to be going around having a chat to a few of the boys about the day and a chat to a few of the fans about what they're looking forward to seeing this year. So there's a lot of number 12s out here. What's, uh -huh. what's your tactic to get your number 45 onto a young kid's jumper? Well, I just got to play and be good a gun. Start. I got to be a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe pick up about 250 games, something like that, but just just, uh, just trying to get better every day. Yeah. Step one, be as good as Rui. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. So, uh, what would you do? Well, for starters, I wouldn't play as a lockdown defender. I'd move myself forward, take a couple of hangers and kick some goals, That's but uh, it's up to you, really. You know, I might go after each other and get me down forward, take a few hangers instead of just spoiling the ball. As long as you don't take my spot, mate. That's fine. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe take my shirt off, paint 27 on my back and do an endo in the water over there or something. <laughs> so, uh, you two both uh, have no number on the back of your jumper. What do I have to do this year to make sure that you guys get number nine on the back? Uh, best spec of the year? No, you, 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 you can I can do that. Yeah. Hot day, who do you reckon is the most likely to get their shirt off and get the rig out? Uh, TC. Um, probably going to say Reece Stanley and be a dollar ten chance. Oh, if I had to put money on, I'd say David Armitage. He wouldn't mind getting the shirt off. Tommy Curran's already asked four times if he can. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have seen a couple already. Oh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but loud. there's a couple of boys just over behind you here um, paddling out. I'm not sure if we can. They're out there now, but yeah, okay. I think I saw Reece Stanley maybe first. That sounds about right. Uh, so they were all out there. Trent down lane number eight at the St Kilda Footy Club. How you going, mate? Uh, two holes in. Hole in one. Hole in one. What, you or the one of the kids? Uh, that, nah, me. Of course. So basically this, this station is for the boys to have a hit of golf and for the kids to stand by and see how good they are. It's a bit of a watch and learn type sort of yeah, setup. Yeah, that kind of setup. Can you explain to us what we're doing, Jimmy? This is called the bike and blend. It's basically, uh, I'm pedalling and uh, smoking the uh, blender uh, go around and mush up all the ingredients. What, go. what, have we got, yeah. what have we got in there? It's just your, your mixed berry blast. <laughs> With a bit of banana in it. Will it blend? Because it's it's looking chunky at the moment. Yeah, well, I think some of the um, little kids wanted it chunky, so therefore I'm just pedaling a bit softer. So the bike has two settings, chunky or smooth? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah very nice. Good work. So we've got a uh, very nervous Jack Billings here at the moment, and I think I can guess why. Why, why are you so toey there, Jack? Um, yeah, I'm just about to get dunked in the uh, water here. So, um, but yeah, I think I'm just happy it's 32 degrees today. That's so, fair enough. Good refresher. We're down here at the Sandcastle building competition, which I don't actually think was in the program, but these boys have just decided to do it anyway. What have you built for us, Dave? Well, actually, it is in the program. Uh, volleyball in Sandcastle, Sandcastle building. And uh, I've actually built a beautiful crocodile down here, and uh, people on their way down have just, uh, you know, treated it with disrespect, and um, <laughs> it cuts deep that you've took the time to build this, and, and now it's got footprints all through it, and I'm going to have to do it again, so... Now the, uh, the, the studio is telling me that you are actually finished second um, in the comp. How do, you, how do you feel about that? Who, who came first? Well, I uh, believe there was some, um, you know, the judging was a bit biased. This, a lady loved dogs and saw Tom's tattoo on his foot and she loved that. So that, that was the reason why I was biased and she chose Tom's stupid turtle. But uh, well, at the end of the day, I uh, did my best and uh, should have won. But uh, well. That's it for us down here at Frankston. Make sure, guys, if you're not a member, please sign on. We'd love your support. Plenty of good people down here and plenty of a crowd to get around us. So please join us for round one when we take on the Melbourne Demons at Ead Stadium.